All right, guys, we're back with round four Edison format, Epic Cards and Games, Hearst, Texas. We have myself on the left playing Bayou Turbo versus Aaron on the right playing Black Wing. So this is the last round of Swiss before top eight. So Aaron's X1, so he has to win to get a guaranteed spot. Well, I'm actually X2, so Aaron's playing down. So I have a chance to knock him out of top eight potential. But I still have a chance, too, depending. It all, if uh, if I win, we both still have a chance to make it due to tiebreakers. But Aaron is guaranteed if he wins, so we'll see if he can knock or guarantee himself a spot in top eight. So anyways, I go first, double upstart, Greffer, Vayu, Sirocco, set a back row. So Vayu versus Black Wings, the classic Edison matchup. I think these are the two most popular decks. Frogs is probably third, but these are definitely one and two. <clears throat> anyway, he MSTs my D prison. Shura hit over Greffer, and then Shura will trigger. So if I, if I remember this game, uh, Aaron gets the Vayu out. He has Icarus, but he, cho he chose to Synchro instead of leaving them up. I don't know if... Probably because he doesn't have Kalut. I don't know if that's correct. Again, I don't know Aaron's hand, but I just... I remember that I thought he didn't have Icarus because he Synchroed. So he pokes for 800, so we're at 71 to 10,000. I think because he probably can't deal with my armed wing, so maybe this was... I think this was correct. Because I can't deal, unless I have like a Caius or a Plague or something, I can't deal with the Android. With what I have in the grave already, which is an Arm Wing. So here I heavy him, so he's going to get rid of the Icarus. So do I have Caius? So here comes Rhoda. Rhoda for Necrogardena. And... Summon Greffer, ditch the Necro, and what are we going to dump? Probably Plague, because Plague's going to, yeah. So I could Goyle him as well. So Goyo, the Arm Wing. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically left with no cards, and I Goyo the Android. And bring out arm wing as well. So normally I probably wouldn't have brought out the arm wing. The reason I did is because he's at 10,600. So I want to just do as much damage as possible. Plus I have necro. If I didn't have necro, I probably don't bring out the arm wing here. <laughs> All right. So 77, 79. So let's see what else Aaron has. I already know the card I'm draw I'm drawing, so let's see. I've never played on this slide for mat. It looks nice. Actually look it might look better than the obelisk mat. I usually play on an obelisk one, but this one might look better. Yeah. Okay. So two darks from Aaron. Does he have a blizzard? I mean blizzard pretty much. I get wrecked if he has the blizzard. Because then he can like Brio. Yeah, so he's checking my grave. All I have is Necro in there and a two Greffer. So three Darks, but I don't have Dark Arm. Unless I stacked it on top of my deck. And planning to use Dark Arm for the follow-up. So Okay, here comes the lore. I wonder how many blizzards Aaron's on. But yeah, blizzard just ends the game. <laughs> I don't think he has the blizzard. Oh, it looks like... I think he has Dark Arm, though. So he banishes Shura, which... Okay, no no Blizzard. Oh, but he he, he drew Gale. That was pretty bad, because now he can half my Goyo. So obviously he has to Synchro, because he doesn't want to... Uh... He knows I have Necro, so which 8 will he go for? Dark End... Stardust, Thought Ruler, Colossal Fighter. And I already know what I'm drawing because I top deck for Plague. So let's see what will Aaron choose to go for. So he's checking my banished pile. Something I've started to do is when I have Burial or Return, I just won't even look at my banished pile. <laughs> Like, I won't even look at it. I walk, So I do have it. I just have it, like, fanned out. 
And I'll just like quickly like glance over like, oh. Okay, so what happened? He made starters. Why is the MST on the field? I think it's just accident. Okay, so he has a Vayu play now. So Stardust, Arm Wing, and Stardust. And then he can run over Android. And I just let it go through. There's no reason. This, I, I guess I could have saved the Android. Maybe I should have saved the Android. Remember, I know what I'm drawing, so... Saving the Android would have gave me life points. So I set one and pass. So we're at 66, 75... Ooh, so Aaron's on a Yada. I wonder how many Yada and Jars he's on. So, oh, he's special summons Dark Armed. Dark Armed. Let's see. Dark Armed. Pop my set, which is... I'm pretty... If I remember correctly, I think it was Burial. Yeah, I think it's Burial. So, like, I could have chained Necro Gardener here. This is another reason why I didn't Necro the turn before. But, like, see, you can see I'm looking at my extra deck. So, this is it's definitely Burial. So, now, since he since he dropped Dark Armed, I have to Burial the... Uh, So he hits me for 25, and now I'm a Necro, the Dark Arm, just because I don't want to take 28. And yeah, it's checking my grave. So now I have to, basically my goal is to, I got to get rid of the Dark Arm now with like a level 8 play. That's why I had to put back the Sirocco and the, the Sirocco and the Bayou and the Plague. So... Now the question is, which level 8 do I go for? Stardust does nothing, so I have to either A, go Colossal or, or Dark End. Dark End wipes his like whole field, potentially. Yeah. Buddy at the bottom list, so it doesn't matter, so I scoop. So Aaron takes game 1. And we'll see. He's one win away from guaranteeing a spot in top 8. So game two, I'm going first, set, T-set, and pass. Hmm. Let's see, what will Aaron do? Did he open Whirlwind? I'm always so afraid. Every time I play Black Ones, I'm like, please don't draw Whirlwind. <laughs> so a normal summon Sirocco, special summons Bora. So what's funny is I actually think I have Bottomless, but I have a... Hamster, so that's why I, I, I don't think I bothered to bottomless either one of these monsters. So ha he attacks into my hamster. He actually pumped, so he pierced over my hamster. And now I have Ryko. And Aaron sets one and passes. So Ryko flip. His bottom is mill Necro, Greffer, D Prison. Okay, good. Good mill on the Necro. Yeah, when you hit off Ryko, it's it's just devastating at times. There have been a lot of games where I lose just because my opponent will mill a random Necro, and I'm like, oh wow, now, now I might lose the game. We'll see if it comes back to bite Aaron. So a tribute for Sirocco. Oh no, I moved my phone. <laughs> so Sirocco pump. So it's uh, he's going to take 37. And now I set another backer. So I still have the bottomless, which is basically... I just didn't feel like there was... A, I didn't feel like there was a point to bottomless to Sirocco or the Bora. I kind of rather just hold it. for Because like, like, I think I had Sirocco in my hand already. And I was like, I'm just going to bottomless the monster that he summons to deal with my Sirocco. Which is like... a. A level six synchro or something or dark armed or another Sirocco. So it's kind of like. Uh, 
Okay. So he sets a monster, no back row. Summon Trooper, Mill Vayu. Ooh, my body. I actually really like my body against uh, Black Wings. So I two just to hit over the Bora and then hit over the Shura. So next turn, he definitely has the Blizzard play. Hopefully, uh, okay, there, I put the life points now. So 61-43. I was actually, a lot of people in my locals don't like Trooper in Vayu. And the way, uh, I'm like, Trooper can't is good in certain matchups, but it's horrible against Frogs. I always side it out against Frogs. It's just an okay card. I could see myself cutting it or keeping it. It's just, it depends. So anyway, he hits over my trooper. I take what nine hundred. So we're at fifty-two to forty-three. So I'm probably reading Icarus now. So let's see. We're at fifty-two forty-three. Summon Arma. So Arma gets me a Sirocco. <laughs> can I can I finish him off through, with Sirocco Armed Wayne? That'll be. I'll gain 3,000 from his field, but then he crows my value. Yeah, crows my value. So now I can just attack. So here I can attack over his Blizzard with Arm Armageddon Knight, and Sirocco can attack over the Bora. That's the play. Or I could pump as well. But if he doesn't have Kalut, this wipes his whole field. So that's why I went for the... Uh... Yeah, then I would have got Deep Prison and he'd have both his monsters up. So, I mean, this is looking great. He's got three cards and I've got like seven. And a Necroguard in my grave. So now we're at 52, 42. So he's got another Blizzard in his hand. Blizzard and target Shura. He has to synchro or he can't deal with my Armageddon Knight. So he's probably going to go Goyo. Yeah. So I bottomless Goyo and Aaron with the My Body. Which I was shocked to see that because I side that against Black Wings, but he put it in against Veyu. Which I'm not sure how good that card is against Veyu. I mean, you could stop like a f my Torrential, Bottomless. I mean, you can't use it in the damage step on Raikou. So I think that card is... I mean, I personally... I've seen some people cite it against Bayou in the mirror. I, I personally wouldn't. The only card... I, the only deck I like that card against is Black Wings and Hero Beat. That's it. Maybe it's okay against Light Sworn as well. <clears throat> so here he top decks heavy. Heavy's my dust and my body. So here he has to choose. Does he try to pierce me or does he take my monster? He has to decide, did I set Raikou or did I set Hamster? And it is Hamster. So another reason... Um, I like my body in Bayou is because it stops no women across that, which a lot of decks side deck against Bayou. So, yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of my body in Bayou, but not so much in Black Wings. But maybe Aaron signs it for the mirror, so he probably put it in for Bayou as well. That makes sense. Anyway, I'm Icarus, Solemn Return, three, three decent cards. So you guys saw Icarus in my main deck. I'm, I'm testing it out. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, if it's gonna stay in my deck. I, I've, I've just people have recommended it, so that's why I'm trying it, and it's been okay. I, I haven't drawn it enough to really make a conclusion on it. All right, so I allure. I actually top decked the burial off the allure, so I put back double value. Yeah, I put back double value and necro, so I banish. Vayu and Sirocco for Armed Wing. So we're at 2733. Summon Plague, Synchro. 
So now I have to decide what do I go for. I don't think there's a way I can finish him off. I'm thinking if I if I like dark end him. Dark end, send 400. Oh, that's game. If I go dark end. Oh, I didn't go for dark end. How did I not see it? Yeah, it would have been 425. Yeah, I messed up. I had game. Yeah, I gave him an extra turn. Wow. But, like, I kind of knew he he didn't have many outs. Like, I looked at his... Like, I knew his grave, but still, I could have finished him off that turn. I think I just was playing too fast there. But, I mean, he has no cards. He already used two blizzards, and I think, based on my back row, I was, like, thinking there's nothing he could draw. But still, I should have finished him off that turn with Dark and It was, like, a, a little... It was 25... Yeah, it was like 200 off of game. So anyway, game three, Aaron sets two and passes. So we send uh, Bayou and Necrogardna. Activate upstart. See, sometimes I'll upstart first. It all depends on my hand. It all depends on do I want to draw the card, I want to search, stuff like that. It really just depends. But in this scenario, I wanted to slim down the deck. I think because I have another value in my hand. I don't want to draw into uh, a value. So I send Necro. I send Bayou. Aaron with the Allure. Draws two. What will he banish? Banishes Kalut. Whirlwind. Bora. So here comes the bottomless. So his Whirlwind will not trigger. And he passes. All right. So last turn, I did not attack him because, again, I have another value. I don't want him to deprison my Greffer. Yep. This is why I didn't attack him last turn. I wanted to... Make sure I get another Vayu dump. Sorry, another Greffer dump. Four darks. So now I must decide, do I want to bring out Arnwing? It depends on the rest of my hand. So He has Black Whirlwind, so it's not looking good for your boy. Ooh. Aaron with a deck dev in the side deck. Dev in the side deck. So Aaron takes 17 and set a monster, set one back row. So now we're at 8,073. Aaron with two more back rows. So I'm guessing his only monsters was, was the Bora and the Kalut. So we flip summon Hamster. Get Ryko. And Aaron has a Torrential. So know my body... Yeah, that was unfortunate. You know, Torrential's a car that I don't really expect in Black Wings. So here comes Armed Wing. Like, not everyone plays Torrential in Black Wings. Some people do, some people don't. So here he bottoms is my Armed Wing, so we're at 73 to 8,000. Like, yeah, I could have attacked first and kept the hamster set, but... Again, I'm not expecting uh, Torrential. Okay. So Aaron's got Deck Dev. When, when I played Bayou... Okay, so this is something that I've seen people do, which I don't like. I... So it's, it's interesting because Aaron cited in Deck Dev and, yes, he cited in Deck Dev and Dinah and my body and Crow. He might be oversight. I think he might be oversighting. That's a lot of cards. Anyways, I move Sirocco, Dust, and Burial. Deck Dev can be a blowout, but I feel like in Black Wings, it's harder to trigger Deck Dev. Like, I, I never cite Deck Dev when I play Black Wings because, it, like, it's just much harder to trigger. And Bayou, it's it's way easier. 
Okay, so I want to talk about something right here. So, I have Icarus Return set. So, I could go Icarus. I could have gone Icarus, Pop, both. But, the reason I didn't was because I saw my body game too. So, if, if I Icarus him, and he has my body, I just lose the game. My return is dead. My value is dead. So, I, I couldn't take the risk. Or Solemn. We haven't seen Solemn. It could have been Solemn as well. Because he had like four back rows also. So I lose. I just lose the game to those three cards. So that's why I chose not to. Not to flip my return. So you see here. I have not checked my banished pile. So Aaron I believe actually has Heavy Storm in his hand. So he, can he, he could have heavy my return. But I tried my best not to give it away that I had a return. Like I, that's something that you guys, if you have, if you play Return or Burial, try not to look at your Banish pile. Like some people, they'll fan their Banish pile before they flip the Return. So yeah, Return Double Sirocco, this is game. Unless he has like a random Battle Fader, and that is game. Yeah, I think Aaron's upset because I think maybe he could have won. Yeah, he had heavy. Uh, but he he's gonna hold it for his push. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy that match. So unfortunately. I knocked Aaron out of top eight, and I also didn't make it because my tiebreaker sucked. But I don't get free wins at locals. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that match, and I'll see you soon for top eight. Bye, guys.